Shalom Aleichem everyone, hope everyone had a wonderful, wonderful week. This week we read a new Sefer, we begin Sefer Shmos. And certainly Sefer Shmos opens up, we're introduced to the most dominant Jewish personality you have perhaps in world history, certainly in the Torah, and that is of course Moshe Rabbeinu. But if you look at the origins of Moshe Rabbeinu, Moshe Rabbeinu's life is surrounded by very, very important and powerful women. And uh, when you take a look, we, we highlight, we highlight certainly his mother, we call Yocheved, certainly a big, big impact. Miriam, of course. Then you have Basparo, who is his adoptive mother, Shifra and Pua as well. And we all know the famous Chazal, Bishchus Noshim Tzitkonios Nigalu Avoseichem Mimitzrayim. It's because of the great Tzitkonios, the great Jewish women, their, their strength, their inner strength, That's what, that was the schus that Ben Yisrael got out of Mitzrayim. And if you think about Moshe, again, Moshe was the leader. Moshe Rabbeinu was the Lomeid HaTorah, was the Kabbalah HaTorah from Hashem, and led Ben Yisrael out of Mitzrayim. However, the women in this week's parasha were, if you will, the backbone of everything, of everything. So, for example, we're told that Yochev and Miriam, that the women did not want to be with their, with their husbands. They saw the husbands, the firstborns, were being thrown into the ore, and they were being killed. They were being killed. What's the point? Our future is, there is no future. There is no future over here. Why do we have to, why should we even build families? That was the men's attitude. They were fatigued from the avdus, coming back from work, and the women would seduce them in a certain sense, would, it would in, help them have the desire to produce families. And this was what Miriam told her father, it's what Yocheva did, and that enabled Moshe Rabbeinu to come into existence. But even in the beginning, Moshe's in peril. His life is at great, great risk, as we know, and he's thrown in, he, we can't keep him anymore, we can't hide him out in the home anymore. And Yochebed places him in a Yor, and once again, Miriam now comes to the rescue, watches over her brother, makes sure he is safe and secure. Yochebed, same exact, I'm sorry, Batya, same exact thing, Basparo. She's going to be the one who's Moseris Nefesh. She's the daughter, the prince, the princess of Egypt. And she's the one who's going to take Moshe in. She names him. She's going to raise him the power, the strength, the emuna. She reaches out and Hashem, Chazal tells, extend her arm even further. She does major, major steps, but Hashem brings it about. Tremendous, tremendous misus nefesh, commitment, intestinal fortitude, backbone that the women that the women have. And we find, of course, Shifram Pua at risk to their lives. They are risking their lives. Paro says, I want, I want no more chose children. I want you to flush this out. And they once again our Mosrim Nafsham, to go ahead and continue the work of bringing Jewish children into the world. This is These are the women, so to speak, in Sefer Shmos and Parsha Shmos. They dominate the Parsha. We're told about Moshe, but it's the women who play such a critical, critical role. We find today with uh, Israel, Rahman al-Islam, in a very, very difficult and challenging war. And I know from my own, my own family, my own son, he's, he's out. He's with the men and doing the, the fighting, so to speak, of the arresting and all of that. But the women are the home front and what they're doing to enable everything that goes on. This is what the, the greatness of Jewish women is all about. The Neshei Chayel, the women warriors who have the intestinal fortitude, the strength to manage everything, to support their husbands, to do um, tremendous things of mysterious nefesh, of bringing about Ka'ula. That's the story of Shmos. That's why we... We see the greatness of the of the Jewish women in Shmos and that are, that are highlighted by the Chumash itself, Miriam Yocheve, Batya, and of course, of course, the Mayaldos. This is the story of this week's parsha, and certainly it's the story of today as well in so many, so many families, so many communities. Such a critical role that everyone plays for the Gula of Klai. So have a wonderful Shabbos Kodesh. <clears throat>